Hi guys, uh, late afternoon, sun's beginning to go down between, oh, behind that house. You may have seen I did this solar pulse motor recently. That's going very nicely now. I've got all the poles facing the same direction and it self starts in the morning and runs all day. Uh, that fella is in the shade at the moment, so that's not running. don't think there's enough sunlight coming there. No, it's not enough for him. Anyway, the reason I've started this little video is going through my uh, store, junk pile as I like to call it. I found this one. I think I only did it last year, or it might have been the year before. It's a solar pulse motor. I will credit Slider2732 with the design because he did one and I copied it. And it just uh, spins all on its own. What it is, is it's the... Oh, can I do this one-handed? Or do I need to put the camera in the tripod? Right, now if you look at that, you might recognize the coil, if we can focus on it. Right, I think you can see it clearly now, I think it's in focus. It's a very, very simple pulse motor. It's the coil out of one of those solar rockers. It's the solar panels out of two of those solar rockers, because there's two solar panels. And they're just wired up straight to the coil. There's no other circuitry in there. So the way it works is when the sun hits it, it powers up the coil. That makes it move away from the magnet. And that stops the power. And then the next one comes into play. So it, it's very simply charging and discharging depending on whether the panel is facing the sunlight or not. Like all pulse motors, sometimes it's happier going the other way. But there you go. It's simply working from the fact that the sunlight hits it on one side. So I'll take my hand out of the way. If we're lucky, yeah, sometimes it won't actually go far enough and you have to give it a little, a little bit of help to get it going. There we go. Looks a little bit out of balance, actually. As you can see, by the way, it's rocking around. I just love this one. It's so simple. So check out the video description, there will be a link to well my original video and Slider's original video that inspired it. I think he called it a TIE fighter because it looks a little bit like that Star Wars thing with the two flat wings on either side. Helped, I've got it in focus, doesn't it? Sorry about that. The little magnets, I've just used several just to get the distance right. 
the distance to the coil. And I can move it up and down as well, simply because they're just one magnet on the outside and that's holding the magnets on the inside. You'll find, depending on how you turn it, I just knocked it then and stopped it, but depending on how you turn it, depends on how well it does in the sunlight. Just needs that little bit of help to get it going. I keep putting my hand in the sunlight so it stops it. It's wobbling around a bit. All it is, it's just a pin glued to a bit of cardboard and the bit of cardboard's across the top of those two solar panels and the coil's glued in the middle. Just adjusting the position of the magnets in relation to where the sun's shining. Yeah, there you go. Well, that rambled on for a bit longer than I intended. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.